What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. So if you haven't already seen, Blizzard announced our 36th hero to join Overwatch and that is Ramatra. He's a tank who is a leader of the Null Sector. If you want more information surrounding his lore, I'll have a video for that in the description below detailing who he is. Now we've got some new images of what he will actually look like in game and what his abilities will actually do. But don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to hit that like button, it'll only take you a second I promise. Just like I thought, he looks absolutely insane. Just look at him. Like I can only imagine what the skins are going to be like for this hero. Since thanks to an interview, we know that he can also mode shift. So he's going to have skins that can definitely change with him. Kind of like when Ash's skin changes, so does Bob's. I honestly think there's just going to be so much opportunity for these skins and hopefully they're not too expensive. But I really do think they could do a lot with this. Ramacha is a hero who can mode shift. To me, it sounds something kind of like Bastion, but apparently it's a little bit different because Alec also claims Ramacha will be the first hero on the roster to be able to do this. His Omnic form allows him to protect his allies while using his staff as his primary, and his Nemesis mode transforms him into a larger and more menacing hero where he can march down on enemies. I love how when he's in this Nemesis mode, he's also still kind of just chilling and very relaxed, just ready to dominate his enemies. To me, when he's in this mode, he doesn't feel threatened at all. Now, my previous this video I talked about how Ramatra is connected to Doomfist in some way through the cinematic they shared in Overwatch 1. I feel like his nemesis mode is a part of that connection, kind of what gives him the ability to do so. The devs did say that Ramatra is an inventor and this mode is something that he did to himself. He kind of just got pissed off or hulked out and this was the result of it. It looks like while he's in this mode he will have 600 health. I think more clearly it's 450 HP but he just gains 150 armor. So I think whenever you shift back into your Omnic mode you just lose the armor and whatever HP you had from there is kind of where you'll go back to. But let's talk about his abilities while he's in this nemesis mode. His main way of fighting in this mode is going to be his punches, which he's going to use to attack. They claim that his punches can even pierce through barriers and how there's some other little things that make him a very unique pick. This is going to be really interesting because if you paid any attention to the recent Overwatch League, Winston was everywhere. From the looks of it, Ramatra might be a viable counter to him, which means this could certainly shake up the meta. He may even be a viable counter to Zarya too, who's had a pretty big influence when climbing through competitive. Now while in this mode, you can see that he has the ability to block kind of like Doomfist. By just guessing roughly with the time that's remaining, it looks like he can do this for approximately 8 seconds. I'm not sure if blocking has any other benefit and it's kind of hard to see here and no one really said anything else about it. We also don't know if it's reduced damage or just complete nullification of damage, but it does look like this will be his way of mitigating damage while in his nemesis mode. It also looks like to transform in between modes, it'll be his shift ability. As you can see in this image right here, you can tell that the shift ability is active. So I'm guessing that is showing that he is in his nemesis mode and this is how you get into it, which again is kind of similar to how Bastion works. I'm also guessing that the cancel with left shift is to basically take him out of his block and it will put him back into his Omnic mode. But again, it's unsure that there's really a timer on this or not. The devs also claim that Lucio would be a good support for a hero like Ramatra to dive onto enemies. I don't know about you, but if I see a massive war machine charging me with a Lucio speed boost, that'll definitely be a crazy sight to see. Now for his Omnic form, I stated earlier he'll have 450 health. His primary will be his staff which will shoot projectiles in a stream to attack. It kind of looks like Moira's attack, so I'm kind of hoping it's an actual projectile and not auto-aim, but that's yet to be determined. One other difference that you can see here is that it looks like when he's in his base form, he doesn't have the block ability. Rather, he has a deployable shield, which you can see on his right click. I'm curious if his shield is already deployed when he transforms into his nemesis mode, if the shield will stay up or if it'll just kind of disappear. We also don't have any actual images of what the shield looks like, so we don't know what, how much health it has. It also kind of resembles Sigma's shield, so but just by looking at the icon, so maybe it will deploy somewhat in the same way. I'm guessing since his HP is already so low in his Omnic form, which is what is the form he uses the shield in, that the shield will have a pretty sizable amount of health on it. Now based on images alone, you can't really tell what his E ability does. But according to Neri on Twitter, who is where most of these images are from, they claim that it's either a gravitational field that will slow enemies down and make airborne heroes come to the ground, or it is a field that prevents enemies from leaving it. In my opinion, it looks like it will force airborne enemies to the ground and possibly even slow anyone down that's in the field. You can see in this image, the Ferris trail behind her is pointing upwards, meaning she's flying downward, or maybe rather being pulled downward. That could maybe be just from her landing, but I wouldn't be shocked if it's forcing her down. You can also see in the second image right here too with the tracer and the echo. It looks like the echo could be coming downward 
and if the chaser is in there too i'm guessing it's kind of to represent that people in that who also get slowed down and you would imagine if you're walking in a gravitational field that you're not going to be able to go upward and you're also going to move slow simultaneously so again that's just something that's yet to be determined at this point i haven't found much information on this but what i can tell you is that his ultimate will not change depending on what mode he's in but using his ultimate will force him into his nemesis mode. Maybe this could be used where he goes into nemesis mode first, kind of exhaust that if it has a timer on it, and then pop his ultimate to get right back into nemesis mode. I'm also going to guess that it gives him some sort of damage boost, health boost, or something kind of like Winston's ult. But then again, I know they want to kind of keep things unique, so maybe it'll even have some other additional benefit. Regardless, apparently his ultimate is supposed to be really good. This is all the information that I've got for you right now, but what do you think of Ramatra? We should bring you guys an update once we find out his ultimate or if we get any live gameplay footage, which I'm sure we'll be getting more information released about Ramatra in the coming weeks, especially since we've only got four more weeks left. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like on the video as it will help the video in the algorithm. And if you want to see more Overwatch content, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.